channel. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're new here, hello. My name is Ashley. I run things here at Oak Crow Gal. And believe it or not, I'm back. I'm back with another Stitch Fix unboxing and try on haul. Uh, so I just uploaded one of these last week. It was last Friday that that video went up. And as I was checking out, I purchased, oh my God, was it this sweater? No, it was a cardigan. <laughs> this was from a different box. Um, I purchased a cardigan and as I was like checking out on the app, um, it prompted me and it said, hey, would you like to receive another box ASAP with no styling fee? Um, and I said, yes, please, <laughs> please, I would like that. Literally days later, it was here. So I did not have to pay the $20 um, styling fee. I basically just got like a box for free. Um, if you've never heard of Stitch Fix before, they are a styling service. Um, you get a box of clothes. Um, sometimes you get jewelry or shoes. Um, they know what you like based on your profile. You fill out a profile and then um, even like in the interim, um, after you initially sign up, you can, there's a lot of like thumbs down, thumbs up things on the app. Um, you can send a note to your stylist if you want to be like really specific about what you like, what you want. Maybe you have an event coming up. You can specify that. Um, and it's 20 bucks. You pay 20 bucks to get said box. Um, and you, you're, you can take that 20 bucks and apply it to a piece of clothing or an article that comes in the box. But if you don't buy anything, you're out the 20 bucks. Um, so I guess if you, <laughs> there's a little risk reward there, uh, a little bit, but, um, I, I love it. I'm, I'm obsessed. I kind of feel like a broken record, but you know, in these COVID times, uh, being in California, most places, the fitting rooms aren't open. I'm just like <laughs> buying things kind of like willy nilly, not knowing if it's going to fit, assuming I'm probably going to have to exchange or return. And it's just nice to get pieces that I can actually try on in the comfort of my own home, uh, and decide if I want them or not. So I'm so excited to share this box. I feel like, um, for some reason, I don't know. I just feel like this is, this one's like a little more fun because I didn't, I didn't spend the 20 bucks. So normally it's like, I go into the box assuming I'm going to buy something, right? Because I've dropped the 20 bucks. So I want to, you know, put that towards some purchase where I feel like the pressure's off a little bit with this one because I didn't pay that. So I'm just really excited to film this for you guys. Y'all you, seem to be loving these videos. If you wanna try Stitch Fix, there's always a link down in the description box where you can sign up. You get 25 bucks and then I get a $25 credit. So win-win all around. Okay, so per usual, I have no idea what's in here. Y'all know, I don't like to peek. I don't like to look. I want to be surprised. I want the look of disgust or elation to be real when I'm, when I'm looking at a shirt or a dress or a pair of shoes. So I have no idea, what, no idea what's in here. Um, we have our handy dandy little um, return envelope. You, if you don't want anything, you throw everything in this bag and you drop it off at the post office. It's so easy, y'all. Uh, and then we have our price sheet, our letter from our stylist, um, and then they also give like outfit um, suggestions, different you know ways that you can wear uh, the things in your box. I never look at prices initially because it ruins it and <laughs> it skews my desire to want to purchase something. So I, we always talk about prices at the end. Um, so what we're gonna do is go through the bundle. I'm gonna show you each piece that I'm gonna try everything on and then we'll do like a wrap up at the end and chat about pricing. All right. This time, ooh, we have a perfect little bundle here. I am seeing some awesome colors. Which side is better? Maybe this one? Um, ooh, I really like this mustard colored shirt. So I see some, maybe some distressed denim there at the bottom. A uh, purple, what looks like to be kind of like a grandpa sweater. That has me pumped. Um, another sweater, a long sleeve, and then like a blouse. I'm really, this like, the patterns in this bundle and the textures have me really excited. We have a little bit, little bit of everything here. Okay, let's open this bad boy up and we're just going to, oh, I hate ruining it. It's so pretty. We're just gonna start with what's on top. So this is by Pink Clover, which is actually the brand of this sweater that I have on right now. This is the Pink Clover Daisy Button Back Detail Knit Top in Dark Gray. Okay, so, oh, this is cute. Okay, so it's like a basic striped tee. I really like the material. It's very, 
bouncy. <laughs> I believe that's the scientific term. It's just this fabric. This fabric is very like stretchy, so it has some bounce to it. You can see it's short sleeve, it's got the curved bottom, but then the back has this button detail, detail all the way down, which I think is super cute. I don't own anything like this. I mean, this is definitely a more basic shirt, um, but I do like that cute button detail in the back. Uh, I also think this, based on what the fit lo looks like from just holding it up, I think it'd be really cute tucked in the front of a pair of jeans, which like is my jam. All right, so that is first up. Next up, I love the color of this. This is the West Key or West K Cassia Tide Detail Blouse in Mustard. One of my favorite colors. This is so cute. So cute. I love this bow detail in the front right at the neckline um the sleeves are kind of have that stretchy material um at the bottom i love this i mean this is definitely more of a like going out with the girls going out you know if Cern and i go to dinner or something like that or maybe like a family event like this is not something that i would wear um every day because it's just not practical for me to wear every day but i really like it that's going to be interesting to see how that fits all right next up we have a sweater this is the pink gina crew neck pullover sweater oh this is cute so you can see we got some gray brown white lavender and then a darker purple at the bottom i this feels like quality it's super super soft and it look i thought it was gonna be really heavy and it's not my only thing I'm, I'm like worried about is the cut at the bottom it's literally just like straight across um i feel like that's gonna make me look really boxy um but we won't know till we try it on so next up this is the love ellie wells confetti cardigan in dark purple Ugh, I, I really like this print. Um, you can see it's like this purple color and then it has all these like flecks in there, um, which is why I kind of said like grandpa sweater. I feel like this just screams grandpa sweater, but I don't, I really don't see myself wearing this color and style of cardigan. I don't know. We shall see. I mean, I'm not going to knock it till I try it, but we got pockets in the front here. Um, it's kind of drapey a little bit in the front too. Um, and then full length sleeves. It feels, I mean, it feels great. It's definitely on the heavier side compared to that other sweater. Um, I just don't know if I would get use out of a cardigan this color. Like I picked up a cardigan in the, in the box that I um, filmed, the unboxing that I filmed last week. And it's very um, universal. It's a universal color. It's a universal look. Um, but maybe this could be like a pop of like something different in my, in my wardrobe. Um, we shall see. And then our last item is this pair of jeans. These are the, hello, Pistola Ariana High Rise Distressed Skinny Jean. Um, these are in the color Indigo. Oh, I really, I really like these. Um, so you can see they are a lighter denim wash. They have multiple spots of distressing. They are high-waisted, which I prefer. Um, something off the bat that I actually really like is down at the ankle, there's distressing. Um, I feel like you don't see that often, and I really like that. So I'm excited. I'm excited to try this stuff on. I feel like we have some basics, and then we also have some things that are like definitely different for me. So let's just jump into it. Okay, so first up, we have this pink clover like basic striped top. I do not like this at all. I don't like the fit of it. Like I don't, I don't enjoy how it fits at the bottom, like where it hits my jeans. I also think it is not flattering in the slightest. Um, honestly, even like tucked in, I just, I'm, I, I don't, I do not, I do not care for this. Um, while I, I kind of, you know, this kind of bouncier material was slightly intriguing. It, I think it lends itself to an unfit fit, if that makes sense. So not a fan. All right, next up we have that color blocking sweater. I don't know how I feel about this. The issue I thought we were gonna have with this bottom being very like boxy and kind of like wonky, we don't have. However, 
I feel like this stripe in particular just really like accentuates a part of my stomach that I don't really enjoy. Um, it's almost just like, I think it's just more fitted than I'm used to when it comes to a sweater. I don't know, there's something about like my midsection, like what it's doing to my midsection that I don't care for. It is so comfortable, um, and in general, I like the fit. Like, I'd be curious if this was all one color, um, how I would feel about it. I think it's this like, the color blocking stripes that are just making me not super, super jazzed. All right, next up we have that purple grandpa-y <laughs> textured cardigan. Um, not not my favorite it's it's fine i i like it i don't love it um, i actually didn't realize i had these like slits in the side i actually enjoy that um i do like that it has the two pockets i just i don't think i would ever wear this to be completely honest like it's a little bit out of my wheelhouse i've mentioned before i'm not a huge cardigan person y'all i am so sorry about the lighting it's it's i know it's terrible um and yeah, it's just not, I don't know. I just, I don't care for it. All right, y'all, lastly, we got a two for one. We got the mustard animal print top and the jeans. The top is okay. I, it's cute. Um, it's just, it's a like and not a love, which I feel like is what we're running into with a lot of this stuff. I also don't care for the arms. It is like, it has that elastic right there along the arm and it is like, a clinging so that's not my favorite either however these jeans I love these jeans they are so comfortable they're so stretchy they fit me really really well um, again like I said when I pulled them out of the box I love the distressing um, I'm usually kind of a snob when it comes to the length of my jeans like normally I would say oh this is a little short I like them to be like all the way down um, to like the bottom of my ankle, but I don't mind it. I really like them. I think they're really flattering and I love that they're high-waisted. Um, Y'all know, I love tucking my shirts in, in the front and I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm here for the jeans, this box, I think. Okay, so let's read my stylist note and then talk prices. Um, I already unfolded it here and I can see that it's not my normal stylist, which, um, I find to be interesting because Kylie is the girl that normally styles me and um, I'm usually a fan of like most things that she sends um, and While these things were kind of sort of up my alley. It doesn't surprise me that I had a different stylist So she says hi Ashley and happy fixed day your usual stylist Kylie was unavailable So I had the pleasure of styling you today Please feel free to request Kylie again in the future again for future fixes if you prefer I didn't see any requests for this time around So I'm sending you a handful of versatile items that you can wear together or mix and match with other pieces in your closet Add some fall color to your closet with the West Key blouse Mustard is a trendy fall color, and I think you'll love the animal print. Pair it with the Pistola skinny jeans and some flats or booties for a casual but put-together combo. When the weather cools down more, the Love Ellie cardigan will make for a great layering piece over tops like the pink clover tee. I'd love to hear how the fit of these pieces works for you. Take care, Kim. So, um, I mean, yeah, she. I, I do like that I definitely got a variety in this box um, and that I can wear a lot of these pieces with the other pieces that came in the box, which I always like. Like that's what I was touting in my box from last week was that like everything was so um, able to mix and match with everything else, which is really nice when you're spending money on stuff. Okay, let's talk about pricing. Um, so the Love Ellie cardigan, that dark purple cardigan, $48. Oh, I already, I just saw the price of the pants. Um, the, um, the pink Gina Krunek pullover, that was the color block um, sweater, $44. The um, Pistola Ariana High Rise Distress Skinny Jeans, $88. <sighs> the West Key um, Cassia Tie Detail Blouse, the mustard um, top, $42. And then that pink clover, like basic tee with the buttons down the back, $34. <sighs> I really want the pants, but they're $88. They're $88, you guys. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I don't know. 
<laughs> I will put up on the screen what I decide to do in this current moment. I really am not sure. They're $88, and in the box from last week, I tried on a pair of pants that were $98, and I was like, that's too much. And I liked those ones more, and they were only $10 more. So it's like, if I'm willing to like spend $10 less on these, why would I have not just gotten the other ones from the last box? So I don't know, I will put on the screen what I end up doing, but the jeans are the only thing that I would be I would be willing to purchase. I feel like everything else was just kind of like, eh, you know? Nothing was terrible, but just, I'm not gonna buy stuff unless I, I love it. So um, the only thing I loved were the pants, but I do not love the price. So <laughs> I will think on it and then I will let y'all know. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not subscribed, drop me a comment down below. You guys were very helpful in last week's video um, recommending other subscription boxes or other styling boxes for me to do. I do have a fashion one coming. I've done videos, actually I have like partnered with them before and they have sent me boxes um, free of charge and I have one of those coming so that will probably probably be the next um unboxing and try on that you guys see from me uh and i will see you on monday for a grocery haul